Welcome back, everybody. It's our Hack Your Life special. We are helping you hack your life today, sharing uh, our tips on everything from food and wine to beauty. Next, it is my turn. We've all heard dozens of methods on cooking the perfect filet mignon. I'm sure you've seen some of those videos on Facebook. Well, I discovered, I tried uh, many of those, and I discovered a fail-proof method that I had to share. So, I invited you and my photographer, Eric, into my house and in my kitchen, and we got cooking. Here we go. So let me start with telling you what you need to make what I'm calling my kind of foolproof filet mignon. First, you need the cuts of meat. I picked two, make sure they're about the same thickness. Salt and pepper, butter, anywhere from three to five tablespoons of butter, a little bit of spices. We have garlic, tarragon, and rosemary, and about that much. I just tear just a little bit. And then the most important thing, a cast iron skillet, because everything we'll be doing will be in this skillet. First, you want your steak out for about a half hour before you're ready to cook it. You need to preheat your oven to 415, 415 degrees. We're gonna salt and pepper the steaks. Now, as I'm doing this, you're gonna think, that is a lot of salt and pepper, it's a lot of grinding. You wanna do more than you normally would, but I like to have music while I'm grinding, so, hey Siri, play Baby I'm Burning. Here's Baby I'm Burning by Dolly Parton. As I'm dancing here to Dolly, again, you're thinking to yourself right now, Jace, that is a lot of pepper. Girl, again, you wanna put more than you would normally do, almost an uncomfortable amount, because you will see in a little bit, it becomes the crust of these fillets. That's about what you want for pepper on each side and even the sides as well. I use kosher salt, you can use whatever. Again, a little bit more than you're usually comfortable with. Just press that in, spread it around. Make sure you get these sides too. You want pepper and salt all over these to make that great, great crust. And they should look about like this. All the sides, we have a little seasoning on them and then a lot on the top and bottom. And now it's time to prepare this is very important, the cast iron pan. Four or five tablespoons of butter, and let me tell you, get that cast iron and the butter as hot as you possibly can, almost to the point of scorching. So when you put those steaks on, it goes That's what you want. Here we go. Two minutes on each side. And don't touch them. I know you want to move them around. Don't touch them. Flip time. Look how beautiful that sear is. Now we're gonna add the tarragon to the butter and a little bit of rosemary and some of that garlic. This is important. Pour some of that delicious butter on top of the steaks as the second side is searing to get the great garlic butter flavor all over these steaks. Oh, so good. Look at that. The two minutes is up. One of our last parts Turn off the heat, and you put this pan, everything as is, directly into your 415 oven. You want to do six minutes, six for medium rare, and about six minutes and 30 seconds, or seven minutes for medium. And then you go up from there every minute. It's like checking on my baby. Okay, exactly six minutes, time to pull it out. Woo! Put them on a piece of aluminum foil, you wrap them up, and then you let them rest, like me at 1.30 p.m. every day, for exactly five minutes. Rest, little baby, don't you cry. Jason's gonna eat you in a little while. Oh, look at that. Did you ever know that you're my hero? Of course, I have to eat a piece and maybe share with photographer Eric. I don't know if I'm going to though. This looks really good. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I don't think Eric's getting any. Now, you saw the package. The timing, Aaron Schwab was laughing at me because she's like, you are being very specific. That is the key. And I'm not, especially when it comes to medium to medium rare, 
30 seconds can really change whether you have a medium rare steak and a medium. So follow the timing of that to the T. Uh, and I almost guarantee you, you'll have beautiful fillets each time.